Greetings, humans. It is Pyro Motherfucking Zero. We are back in Rigbath, doing the things, trying to beat this game. I mean, technically we've already beaten the game, but trying to do the things in the game which whomst I still desire to do, being grow these giant crops and Lucy. So those are the things I'd really like to do before I finish this game. Um, still not entirely sure about these pumpkins, whether or not they are classed as giant or not. So they're still on the big side, but I don't think they're classed as giant just yet. So we have some reasonably big potatoes. So I would like to ship one, two potatoes of size seven, and I guess I'll scythe these other two. One, two. And so we have some seeds that are now level eight, useful. So I'll guess I'll hoe these. Nice, and we can plant some potato seeds that are apparently one level eight. Okay, one level eight. There you go. Uh, these ones of this level not particularly useful to me, so I might actually just chip the rest, I guess. We're already going to be. Um, that's fine. We're already going to be getting some that are reasonably high level. Because we're going to ship those. Nice that we have a Rooney there. So, what level are these ones? They are level 5, and the soil health is pretty low. So let's see if we can put some more fertilizer in there. Nice. What we'll do is hoe to it. There we go. Before we pick up that Rooney, please don't fade. Do a little bit of watering here. A little bit XD. Probably gonna be enough for the Rooney. Alright, and one, two. Nice. So it should be shipping all that stuff before eight. Now we can go up and check on our Manettas. Now I think there is a romance event with Lucy that's happening in town currently. But I don't think I saw any triggers on the map. So this was something that happened yesterday. I think it's just going to be spread over multiple days. I think that's just how it's going to happen. Make sure we keep our Manettas nice and topped up. We're getting some big looking pink turnips, so that is nice to see. Don't know why we have a boulder there all of a sudden, but what level is this turnip? Eight. That's pretty good, actually. Chuck you in. Chuck in these, because why not? Anything else need a ship? Honestly, these potato seeds are not particularly useful anymore. Chuck in the carrot seeds. Uh, Lucy gave me a throbby snapper that's worth three and a half grand, so that's pretty nice. But, you know, Lucy gave it to me, so maybe I'll do something special with it. Who knows? Like, uh, give her the old uh, cinnamon one too. Who knows? Either way, I may go back to the dungeon. I may not. In fact, maybe it's a dungeon day. Maybe it is a dungeon day. Because... We managed to get everyone to level 5, so very happy with that. In fact, you know what, fuck it, let's take Saskia with us. While we're here, we'll grab Bellana from the other one. Maybe this will be a dungeon day, because I've done a lot of not doing the rig bath maze stuff, and I think I do need an M MGTU plate and something from the Murder Beast, so maybe I'll do low level rig bath maze stuff, just really try and smash through it. And that's the thing though, I'm enjoying the kind of world is your oystery kind of nice. feel to the game at the moment. Where is Bellina? There she is. <laughs> and of course I selected Saskia because Sassy is just so fucking big. Right. Bet, 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 bet. There we go. The game is a little bit unwieldy in that nice. sense sometimes. I think this barn is actually pretty small, considering I vacated it to get operations on the ice dragon going. So we'll check on the fire dragon for now. Uh, 
Yeah, wonderful humans, if you are present, you can say the things. I'll usually say the things back. If not, it's all good. Chill out and watch the farm game. Alright, I'm kind of getting past the point where I want to spend all this time brushing them every day, because what they're doing is enough for me at present. Okay, I'm just wanting to grow the crops real good like, and then do some dungeon yes, runs. Yes. Do uh, the DM sliding with Lucy and then finish the game pretty much. So we'll check on operations in the Ice Dragon. And then I kind of want to see what's happening in town. I want to see if that event with Lucy is going to pop up. And maybe we should get some more greener fire. Because the... Oh, nice. Okay, we have bok choy aplenty. Fantastic. And it is level one. Alright, thanks Tommy. You're... Uh, Top, tops, love your work, glad you're here, but I need to harvest these myself. Nice. All right. All right, it said harvest 20 bok choy, uh, but it didn't necessarily say um, I needed to, wait, was it ship 20 bok choy? Not 20 bok choy plants, it was harvest, you know, that many bok choy. So I actually can't, went pretty overboard here, but that's all right. We have a lot of bok choy. All right. Maybe I should actually keep some as well, just so I can make some recipes with it if it calls for that. Apparently that leveled up my longsword. Not going to complain. Although we'll hold a couple of stacks for use in recipes, things like that. But otherwise, the rest they can go in the bin. I'm, try I'm basically just using monsters that are not particularly high friendship level. Fucking... Stella. So basically wanted to just be able to harvest these myself because some of the achievements don't actually work if you don't do the harvesting yourself. So that should be okay. How many bok choy have we got? Okay, so we've got two and a bit stacks, so that, that should be plenty. All right. I have some seeds as well. Oh, I nearly picked that up. So I guess what we can do for the next little while is while we're here, we can do a bit of hoeing. There we go. Nice. Good on you, already setting to watering. The rune sphere, please, thank you. And I think that should be good for now. Uh, where is that quest at? Harvest 20 each of bok choy cabbages and onions. Okay, so cabbage and onions are still going. That is fine. Pyron lives again, I do. What is up, Ezrin? Good to see you again. Wonderful, you're basically here like every time I stream. Very cool. Nice to know that there'll usually be someone here when I'm saying the things and I'm not just screaming into the void, so to speak. What is happening? For like two minutes, all good. Glad you could be here at all. So, how much do you know about Root Factory Frontier? Sorry, <laughs> Root Factory Frontier XD. Well, obviously you know a bit about that one, but in terms of this game, Root Factory 5, it's it's not so different really. There was some interesting circumstances with the development of this game such that yeah I'm amazed it was made at all. Because fascinating circumstances basically the company went bust and how it is yeah uh, I think the mastermind basically just went off and got his own team somehow and so the game has been made again so that's pretty nice. I thought after 4 we may never see another Rune Factory game, but there were 4 before this, but I guess there were more. Yeah, so there was the numbered games, so Rune Factory 1, 2, 3, and 4, and there was also Frontier, which was the one that I streamed with Logic, and Tides of Destiny, which I have never played. So there are quite a few Rune Factory games. Of those, I played 2 and 4. And of course, I streamed the one with Logic, which was Frontier. Alright, crafting bread. Thank you kindly. So crafting bread, as I mentioned last time, basically you learn recipes by eating bread. There is a handicraft contest, which I saw then when I flicked very quickly past whatever it was Priscilla was saying. I probably commissioned that. But no matter. Ghost boots. Silver Pendant, Night Shield, and... Okay then, 
People working hard, I see. What's up, Yuki? Don't forget, we Handicraft have contest. I probably should talk to Simone about that and figure out what the fuck it actually is. Because I've not been doing super great in the festivals, largely because I don't really know what's actually happening. Been here for like eight years and seen you play literally four games. Yeah, that's about right. I mean, lately I've basically just been playing whatever. Whatever takes my fancy. But whenever I would stream with Logic, it would be the one game for months at a time. Uh, years even. Like, the... The Fire Emblem one and the Rune Factory ones, yeah, they, they went for years. And then recently it's just whatever I play. Medieval Dynasty, never heard of it. Tomorrow's handicraft concept. Equipment or accessory they've made is finer than any other. <laughs> Alright, okay, you guys are gonna get fucked, because my crafting skill's pretty high. Finest piece of equipment or accessory for everyone else to see. Oh, but I do get it back, don't I? So I could actually just use my gear. Equipment or accessory. Okay, sure. Survival game, make a village and recruit NPCs. That sounds pretty sick, actually. I'll have to check that out. Alright, I need to go to the general store and get some seeds. Remind me to do that after this romance event with Lucy. And I'm going to turn off the mic for a second, hit the record button, because I'm making a big compilation of all these, so give me a sec. Well, I gotta say, I am totally flaccid after that one, but anyway. Let us continue on. Guess we're not taking Lucy into the, the rig bath maze, which is a shame, because she's got some damn fine equipment. No matter. Who else can we take? So, townsfolk... Um... Good question, actually. We could find Margaret. 
Oh yeah, Margaret's in Flower Struckness. We can go there. I could give her a staff. So she could actually be doing a little bit more than she is currently. Yes, Medieval Dynasty does sound quite interesting. Uh, definitely a fan of survival games. Well, uh, maybe Ludmilla. What's happening, darling? That's what she calls me. What up? Let's go on an adventure. Yes. Alright, so Margaret is definitely one of the better teammates. I think Ludmilla is as well, but I'll have to remind myself- oh my god, she's level 62. Okay. What kind of staff have you got? Wizard staff. Nice. Well, I could definitely get you a better staff than that. She could actually be doing decent damage if I got her a staff. So, tell you what. If, you, if, if Margaret's going to be Lucy for today, I'll actually craft her a decent staff. And then we can just head off to the maze. We're going to be speedrunning this maze, I'll tell you what. Like, probably just run to and from the loot and the bosses. But I'll... What's the staff I can make without feeling the pain in my wallet too badly? <laughs> I mean, pain in my wallet XD. I've got literally over a million at this point. But there's some stuff that's reasonably rare that's not easy to... All that easy to come across. Um, winter rod. If I had viscous liquid. Wow. I basically can't make anything except for one that's slightly better than the one that she's got. Come on, I'm sure I can do better than this. Rune staff. I actually need more rune crystals. Storm wand. Ah, oh, can't just be throwing mealy apples like that. Jesus, I really can't get her a better staff than this, can I? I mean, the closest one I can do reasonably cheaply is a winter rod, but even then I don't have viscous liquid. And I'm not entirely sure where to get it. I mean, I could see if there's anything from Darok I could get reasonably cheaply. But I mean, at this point we're kind of just wasting time. Because I know that ultimately I'm, it's going to be me and Saskia that are doing most of the damage. So we can kind of just go in with whoever and as long as they don't die they'll be fine. But why not? Let's, uh, let's see what, uh, what is available in the forge. I could literally just give her my rune staff, but that's such a waste because that's a fucking expensive staff. Uh, when I talk about expensive, I don't really mean money necessarily. I'm talking about opportunity cost. Because there are things that are not easy to get, whereas money is getting quite easy to get at this point. Welcome. So what is a staff? Alright, I'm so glad I wasted money upgrading you. Because these staffs are absolutely fucking absolutely useless. Oh, I wanted to look at some of the new crafting recipes before I went off to the maze. I get apparently very scatterbrained while I'm trying to stream. Well, that's all good. We can do that. Look at the new recipes, save, and then just head off to the maze. Crafting. Rune vest I definitely still want to make. Power protector. Yeah, see, this is something that I want to get. But we need to get a plate and a dangerous scissors. I'm sure I had a dangerous scissors and I used them in a crafting recipe, so that feels bad, man. But bone shield is surprisingly useless. Lucky strike. We need a crit ring and a, again a dangerous scissors. Interesting. That's actually not particularly useful. Platinum ring. Some pretty nice resistances there. Uh, could actually make that reasonably easy now. Indigo Ribbon. Oh, we actually don't have any more blue scales, so that's fascinating. Ghost Boots. We need quality worn cloth and a crystal skull to make those. But they have pretty nice defense. I would like to make those. Why does this go like this? 6, 14, 65. Alright, bro. I would definitely like to make them, so maybe we'll come across some of that stuff either way. go through and kill some people in the maze. This time. Let's let's start this from the start.
So the plan here is for Saskia to be extremely aggressive. That's the dream. But for Margot and I to basically just ride through on Bellina where we can. I would rather her not die. So Bellina. I may not actually have mentioned this before, but basically named it's like a pun on Melina. The uh, the what you call it? The maiden from Elven Ring. And I found it funny because there was <laughs> there was this meme that was going around around April Fools. There was like offer you an accord, and then it was just a Honda Accord. <laughs> and so from then on, it's like okay, I'm, I'm naming my mount after Melina in this game. And because she's got bells around her neck, it's Bellina. There you go. I'm very creative. There's already a green dragon scale which I needed, and there's an exquisite chest. Cheap bracelets, power protector, focus earrings, aerial blade. Um. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was one of those advanced crafting recipes. Okay, that is immediately going on my person. And I'm sure there was something else. That is a really nice short sword. Yeah, that's... And <laughs> we got a cheap bracelet that's worth 38 gold. <laughs> okay. And focus earrings. Pretty useless. So we got a very, very big range of equipment there. Fascinating. But, alright, let's go. With Margaret. Yeah, I kind of just want to scooch through and try and get some of the boss weapons now, I think. So let's just go. We've got the fastest mount in the game. Let's just race through. Try and hit the rune crystals where we can. Alright. Um, yeah, why not? We'll briefly get some... Auric Alchem here. Never hurts enough to just run past money when you can. Thank you. Heal up, Bell up. We do need some more Rune Crystals, so I'll try and break them where I can. Occasionally I get bored of having to press ride with another person because it just takes so long. And I just ride solo. Hopefully that doesn't get Margaret killed. Let's go. Alright, this is a fair bit of money. Generally I see Auric Alchem and I need to stop. Because it's just, it's like running past 20 grand when you see it on the ground. Even though I am trying to speedrun this a little bit here. It's really hard to speed run myself past a Rakalko. There we go. Now, is that iron? Okay, that legitimately surprises me, seeing that failed dish there. This is something that not a lot of games do. That was something I threw at the wall at the end of my last run because I did not want it. And so I basically threw it out, assuming it would despawn. But it has not. It is still it is still there. I'm <laughs> I'm actually legitimately impressed with this game. It's got that kind of persistent memory in it. And likewise, that was iron that I threw at the wall. Genuinely impressive. Anyway, Let's just run through floor one. Tends to be the one where I spend the most time because there is a fair bit of oracle, and there is also some in the opposite direction to where you normally go on this floor, but after that it's just going to be shoot through, blast through, blaze it, shoot to kill. Is there anything here? Yep, there is a big swinging dick of platinum. Ah, uh, fuck it, while I'm here. So, it may actually start despawning before I pick them all up, depending on how... There we go. I don't know how many I dropped. There we go. Alright, from this point on, I think it's just going to be shoot through. Let's put Margaret on there as well. Now, I'm really wanting those boss items, so it's just going to be blaze through. Try not to get stuck. Alright. Here is 420 blaze at Hecaton Shire. Oh, my frame rate. <laughs> okay, so that was the first phase. 
That was the second phase. We got weapon bread. Did we get anything else? That is a shame. Farming bread plus, I'm guessing, is probably not going to do anything, so we'll try and use the weapon bread. Platinum sword plus. Nice. Alright, come on, Belly. Ready to go? So yes, even before I had the Devil Rod when I was just using the Rune Staff, that was still a very, very quick fight. I don't think that they necessarily looked too much at balancing the post-game. It seems to be that if you once you have a reasonably good staff, you can kind of just melt. Pretty much every enemy in the game, even if they're like 50 levels above you, so. Don't know how much thought went into that. So let's just try and zip zoom to the end. Don't really need to fight too much else. Crimson Scales, probably not a bad thing to look into getting. Oh my god. Alright, sorry, Balina. I, r I uh, ran you a bit racket there. <laughs> I probably should dismount for that part. We can see what's up here as well. Just because I see a dead end, I see loot. Platinum. That's a lot of platinum, but don't really care. This part was gated the first time I went through here, but it is not now. Holy fuck, Margaret. You got absolutely clowned on. There you go. Rune Crystal 1. Rune Crystal 2. Are there any more? Nope. Is this an enemy spawner? No. Red Ribbon. 12 defense. <laughs> Okay, and it costs 30 grand. What a world. This is definitely a boss fight. This is Tiamat. That was Tiamat. Right. Nice. We have Crafting Bread Plus. That is very, very useful. Gold Boots. Silver Ring. Okay. I really needed to do this little speed run a little bit more often, because I'm getting some good, good breads, even though I'm not really getting the items that I'm wanting. Still very useful. Alright, Bella. Let's go. Um, go. Just, just for the next little while, I need to remember to wear this diamond brooch because I absolutely can get fainted and that absolutely is a run killer. So, let's scooch through. Not so much to say about this part. I'm sure those axes are designed to hit you if you just keep going through them. <laughs> you can actually just blaze through here on Bella. Sorry. Alright, let's drop some heals. I did not abuse my poor monster so much. Thank you. Chemistry bread. This will not be useful. Okay. I remember the last time I went through this door I immediately died because I did not avoid a giant multi-hit combo from the murder beast. So that was what happened the first time I went through this door. Now enjoy what happens this time. I still take the combo but I take no damage. <laughs> Yeah, that new armor is, uh, it's, it's doing the business. So we have farming bread plus. We have iron. And we have an MT, MG, MTGU plate. 
fucking fantastic. That was exactly what I wanted. So... Miserable, trash, garbage, useless. Fantastic. Can we use this for anything? No. Okay. It could be a while before that one is available to us. Alright, let's jump on Bella. Together now. Need to go through the gate from the back, right? Shoot through. <sighs> Press A apparently for some reason. Ready to go? Come on. Oh, nice. So now she's actually getting a level up from that. The sirens definitely like to status you. So it's nice to not be in range of that. Those icicles probably deal zero damage at this point. But generally a nice idea Thanks. not to get hit by them. Basically hitting every rune crystal I see because I need the rune crystals, like the little item that can drop from them, and it's also nice just to have your rune points renewed. Shoot through. Alright. Level 8. Probably stop when we get to level 10. Seems like a reasonable point, depending on how we go. Alright, basically just shoot straight down. Looks like there's going to be a boss in the middle as well. Don't really need the flower. Is this another Hecaton Shire? Hell's Pincers. I think this is the one that drops the scissors. And that was Hell's Pincers. Give me a scissors, please. Water Crystal, nice. and yes. Chemistry Bread Plus. That one I'm genuinely interested to see if it will do something. <laughs> Holding so much guff. Probably not. Nope. Alright, shoot through. Come on, Bella. Okay, last level for the next little while. Thanks for the lift. Riga's Maze, level 9. Oh, I finally remember this one. I remember dying immediately to some faint attacks. Which prompted me to craft the diamond brooch. That actually is a reasonably good point. Did I buy any crops to plant on my field? Quite possibly not. But oh well, I will think about that later. I hate those guys. There is not a boss here, apparently. Fascinating. Alrighty, so we got to level 10, and this is a boss arena. Naga, do you heal from fire attacks? Yes you do. Alright then. I'm just going to need to do regular attacks with my staff. This will be painful. So this is unironically probably the toughest boss in the dungeon because I can't just Gatling Comet and then Ruffle Stomp it. But even then, regular attacks from the dam from the demon rod, devil rod—I don't know what it is. This rod, pretty strong now, actually. Right. Weapon bread plus. That is music to my ears. What do I get? Hand of God. All right, Algernon. Alcoholics Anonymous. Wait, was that the way I came in? I'm genuinely so bad at remembering which floor I started on and which one I didn't. Either way. I would like to see what those crafting recipes were that we got. 
I'll check on the fields as well, because I really do need to plant stuff. And that will probably be it. Ghost boots. I still need crystals. I do not know where to get that. Platinum shield plus. Power protector. Okay, nice. Yeah, dangerous scissors. Unfortunately, didn't get the drop there. Otherwise, we'd be having some pretty nice stuff. But the thing is, the drop that we did get was so nice that I don't actually see us dying from terribly much anymore. But let's see some of the weapon recipes we got. Platinum Sword Plus. So Platinum Sword plus Dragonic Stone, and that is 6,050. Okay, I'm making that straight away. Wait, do I, do I actually have the recipe for regular Platinum Sword? I don't think I do. So I need to make regular Platinum Sword, and then I can increase it. But okay. Hand of God. Level 82 Fist Recipe. 7500 Magic Attack plus 2000. I kind of want to make that, but unfortunately I cannot. Algernon, Moving Branch, Strange Tentacle, General's Orb, Charm Blue, Lamp Grass. That is plus 10,000. Holy balls. I definitely want to make that. But I think it's going to be we go outside, do a bit of planting, call it a day. Possibly see what planting we need to do and then call it a day. As it has been, uh, it has been a hot minute. Keeping them reasonably short every now and then. Well, not really every now and then. Usually I do. Indeed, I have the large dome. I did not do any planting at all. But I think that will be it for today. Thanks for tuning in. GG's, see you next time.